Open battle between the United States, U.S. against China is increasingly inevitable. Uncle Sam's country apparently was not playing games to confront the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA. The threat was immediately raised by the U.S. Secretary of State. Mike Pompeo through his personal Twitter account which confirmed the country was ready to face Xi Jinping's forces in the South China Sea. U.S. warships have arrived in the Taiwan Strait to get ready for Chinese military arrogance in the South China Sea. The arrival of U.S. warships has been confirmed by the Taiwan Ministry of Defense. It's just that the Taiwanese authorities did not explain in detail the purpose of the U.S. warships are in waters that are currently heating up in the Asia-Pacific. Taiwan claimed the arrival of U.S. warships in the Taiwan Strait was just a transit and carrying out ordinary missions. U.S. warships have transited the narrow Taiwan Strait that separates the island from the mainland, heading south. Taiwan's armed forces are monitoring the ship as an ordinary mission, the Taiwan Ministry of Defense reported by Jempida. The U.S. Pacific Fleet also confirmed that warships were prepared. The U.S. Pacific Fleet said the warship that had arrived in Taiwan is the USS Russell, the destroyer despite recent Chinese actions stealing the attention of the much-contested South China Sea, the United States has managed to repulse Chinese ships with a show of force in the region. The U.S. action is intended to underscore its commitment to the security of the maritime region. Despite recent Chinese actions stealing the attention of the much-contested South China Sea, the United States has managed to repulse Chinese ships with a show of force in the region. The U.S. action is intended to underscore its commitment to the security of the maritime region. In recent weeks, the U.S. has stepped up its naval exercises in disputed maritime areas, including joint exercises between the U.S. Air Force and Marines in the South China Sea and submarine warfare training in the neighboring Philippine Sea. The U.S. response reflects the Pentagon's sense of urgency after China earlier exploited the COVID-19 crisis to intensify the militarization of various regional dispute features. In fact, the aircraft carriers USS Ronald Reagan and USS Theodore Roosevelt had to be anchored at each port in Japan and Guam as the COVID-19 infection spread among their crew. Recently, the Southern Theater Command of the People's Liberation Army PLA, deployed a Y-8 aircraft for submarine war patrol missions ASW, to Fiery Cross located near the Philippines. Data compiled the also shows that China has recently positioned the KJ-500 in the Air Early Warning and Control System AEWNC, on the disputed island in Spratlys, which has functioned as the command and control center of Chinese operations in the area. The tool is within the scope of Chinese sovereignty which increases development on islands and reefs in the South China Sea and deploys defense weapons according to China's national defense needs, explained Zhang Junxi, a senior researcher at the PLA Naval Military Studies Research Institute. This condition has an impact on smaller neighboring countries of China who also claim to own things in the South China Sea region, including Malaysia which usually does not say much. The reason, Chinese ships for months have been hunting Malaysian oil exploration vessels operating in their own exclusive economic zone EEZ. This dispute pushed the US to intervene last month by sending warships. <laughs>